What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are getting into a pretty massive Marvel haul. I know I always do the Marvel hauls, but I love Marvel stuff and that's just how it's gonna be. So I guess you should probably join the Box Attack Universe Facebook group and hit the like button because it just helps out the channel a ton. But before we get into that, got a little bit of an appetizer. Got some mail recently from Sean who watches the channel here and well, we're gonna kind of take a look at this and see what this thing is all about. Let's go ahead and pop that open here. I got a piece of paper in here first. Let's uh, check that out. Orange paper, nonetheless. Hi, Dom. Been a fan of your channel for a long time. Always great content. Your reviews and unboxing videos are very entertaining and always give me insight into what I might want to get. I noticed you've been using a butter knife to crack into <laughs> the trusty butter knife. I've always used a butter knife to crack into my boxes. Um, notice you use a butter knife to crack into your boxes lately. I thought you might want to have something a little more snazzy. If it doesn't work out, you can always gift it to someone. Long live the empire. Thanks a bunch. Stay safe over there, Sean K. Okay, so, Sean, what? Hold on, let's see what this is. Oh, well, this is pretty snazzy. Holy crap, hold on. I think we might have a new official uh, butter knife replacement here. This is dope. It's like a Star Wars letter opener. Wow, this is fancy. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that the fanciest thing? This is so cool. I mean, it's way better than a butter knife. Like, come on. So, RIP butter knife. Hello, new fancy Star Wars letter opener. This is freaking cool. Thank you so much, Sean. I am going to use this today because, well, we're opening up Pops, so let's get into it. First up on the table, we have Black Widow. Now, this is uh, obviously the movie that was supposed to actually come out uh, very recently, but it was pushed back because of everything happening. Uh, so we have the wave here that we're gonna take a look at. And let's get Black Widow out her box real quick. This is, oh yeah, this is nice. Like, way better than a butter knife. I mean, it, it just looks way cooler. All right, so here we have Black Widow. And she does come with the stand. And she's looking pretty pretty slick. I like the hair. Hair's cool. Got one, a uh, couple little braids on the side of here. And um, yeah, I mean, look at that. She's got her weapons. She's wearing the white suit here, which is pretty freaking cool in my opinion. She does come with a stand as well, so let's take that out of here and get her stand going on. Boom, Black Widow. Pretty cool pop, right? Here we have Yelena Belova, and of course, part of the same Black Widow lineup right here. I so love this. Thank you, Sean. This is so handy. Let's go ahead and get her out. It seems like she has a stand too, um, and she's got more of like a a uh, stick here, a staff a something than her little baton things that uh, Black Widow has. Um, but yeah, look at that, that's pretty cool. Got her like hair going on back here. That, that's actually a cool little look. A lot of cool detail here. Um, I'm excited for this movie. I'm sure a lot of these pops are not uh, like, they're, they're spoiler free pops. So if you guys know about uh, Avengers Endgame, when we got the, the initial pops, and then we saw what was actually in the movie, like some of them were entirely different. Here we have Natasha Romanoff, and obviously yes, Black Widow, but this is the Natasha Romanoff. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's not Black Widow, but it's her. And I, every time I use this, it's so freaking handy. So we're gonna take a look at her real quick and see what's going on with this. I'm not sure how this fits in. A lot of stands in this wave, you guys. Um, but look at that ponytail in the back. And she's holding, what is she holding? I don't know, she's holding like a, a weapon of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what she's holding. Maybe she's holding little sticks of dynamite in her hand right there, I can't really tell, but let's get the stand on her. She's looking pretty cool with her black, um, like all black leather looking outfit and the ponytail on the back right there. And he, so here's a quick side by side uh, with Black Widow and Natasha Romanoff. Uh, same person, obviously, but yeah, you can see just the, the difference in the two pop characters here. So let's go ahead and set that off to the side. 
She's looking pretty cool though. I like how, so you can tell like what's kind of leathery and what's not. So like the jacket here is kind of glossy and the boots are glossy, but the pants are less glossy, I guess, if that makes any sense. Uh, pretty cool little detail there. I guess it's, it's not that important, but I like it when things aren't as like plain Jane on, uh, on different pops. I like it when they switch it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put this aside. And we have, boom, Red Guardian. This one is pr pretty freaking cool. Um, man, I'm glad that they did a, it with his mask on here because there's a, I have a Marvel Legends version of this and it, it's missing, it, they did it without the mask and it's just kind of silly. But uh, this one looks pretty dang movie accurate, at least according to like the previews and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, got the Captain America inspiration going on here. Uh, got the little star on the shield, holding the shield there. And I love how even when you get back into the, like the backside right here, there's even like a little strap holding it onto his arm, uh, which they definitely like, could have really easily concealed that and didn't have to have it. Um, but yeah, pretty cool looking pop. I'm excited to see this movie though. And uh, you know, you, you get you get a lot of uh, a lot of Captain America vibes here, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons, but a little gray in the beard and uh, the star up on top of the helmet. And then we do have, it looks like, yeah, this is like uh, some like battle damage here on, uh, on the helmet, which is pretty cool. I dig the battle damage. And then we have like, uh, little pieces. All there's, a, there's a lot of detail on this pop, if you ask me. I actually think it's pretty cool. Next up, we have three. Yes, three different versions of Taskmaster. Um, I don't know why they decided that we needed three different Taskmasters, but uh, we have two commons and one Walmart exclusive right here. And I'm not going to make you sit through me opening up all the boxes. So let's do it. Here we go with Taskmaster. So these right here, these are the two commons and you can see that one of them is without the hood and one of them has the hood and it looks like the faces on these are, are pretty much the same. Yeah, so uh, except, you know, obviously, like I said, one has the hood and one doesn't. Uh, they're different body molds, clearly, because one of them's holding a shield and a sword and one of them is holding a bow and arrow here. So these are the two common versions of Taskmaster that actually look pretty cool in my opinion. I dig the one with the hood. I just think the hood looks super like evil and mean. I don't know, I, 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 like, I like how it looks all around, but, we do also have this guy, which is the Walmart exclusive Taskmaster, also wearing the hood. So these are obviously the same head, you know, they're just put on different bodies, but the body here is different as well because this is Taskmaster with claws. So he has claws on his hands. He's holding them out like, like he's gonna like kill somebody, I don't know. Um, so we have these three Taskmaster pops. Uh, I don't know, which which one of the Taskmaster Pops is your favorite? I have to probably lean towards the Walmart exclusive, um, but I do really like the shield on the other common here. But let me know which of these three Taskmaster Pops, Taskmaster Pops, I can't even talk, is your favorite in the comments section. Like I said, I dig the one from Walmart, but uh, I wanna know your thoughts. And finally, we have another Black Widow Pop. So that makes three Black Widow Pops, we have two, well, okay, technically two Black Widow Pops. We have Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow, and then we have the Walmart exclusive Black Widow. So let's see what she has going on. You can see there we got a stand in the bottom. Let's pull that out nice and easy. And this one is cool because this one is Black Widow in the black suit. You can see right there. So we have Black Widow, black suit, pretty cool stuff and uh, she's got her little baton things right here with little axe, ice picks or axes or I don't know, metal on the side. She looks like she's gonna freaking tear somebody up with this. Let's put the stand on here. And uh, you can see standing up next to her other counterparts. I Okay, here are the two suits, the two Black Widow suits. Which Black Widow suit do you like more? I personally think the white suit is super duper clean, like way clean on the white suit, but dropping the stand. The black suit, I don't know, the black suit, uh, I love the black, gray, and gold tones that they have on that suit. And obviously I like the uh, little gold uh, cuff things right here, which are pretty awesome. And I don't know, uh, the hair kind of cooler, out of the way, got some cool braids. I think that the black suit might be a winner for me, but the white suit, like I said, super duper clean. This, my friends, 
is the Black Widow uh, wave, the 2020 Black Widow wave, at least so far anyways. They're all pretty cool pops. I wanna know though, which one of these is your favorite? Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on, on these right here. I think they're pretty cool though. Um, I'm looking forward to the movie. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And a huge shout out to everybody over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. I send them pops every month out of my collection. So if you wanna join up with that, helps out the channel a lot. You can check that link below and leave this video a thumbs up because that helps out as well. And if you're looking for something to do, join the Box Attack Universe Facebook group. All the links and everything you need are in the description below. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. I really do appreciate all of the support. It means the world to me. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.